and I am definitely suited up. I've been, bees have been kind of feisty lately, and I've been stung in the face a few times this week. So I'm not gonna risk getting stung in the face anymore anyway, hopefully. They're just, look at them. They are just, they're gonna come after me. Look at them already coming after me. They're very aggressive, but they are very good honey producers, so I live with it. Queen excluders versus no queen excluders. That's what we're gonna try. We're gonna do a little challenge here. Um, what I'm gonna do, I've got uh, four hives selected behind me here. It's a good spot, good location. The reason I have this uh, suit on already is because these bees have just been buzzing me ever since I got here. They're pretty aggressive out here, at least today for some reason. And these are some pretty aggressive bees anyway. But they're also really good honey producers, as they have been for the past couple of years. So I picked out the four strongest hives, trying to keep them about the same height and the same strength. And uh, what we're going to do with this challenge is we're going to put on two of the hives, we're going to put a queen excluder. And on the other two, we're not going to use a queen excluder and go above the, uh, the highest level where they are now. So some of these are going to be stacked up pretty high, but these boxes are full of bees. Above the queen excluder, we're going to put at least one, we're going to put one box of foundation um, right here. And then we're going to put one or two boxes of drawn comb on top of that. Each of these uh, honey supers with the drawn comb have nine frames in there so they can hopefully maximize honey production. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna break into these hives here and see what we got. I'll stack them up and uh, see how it goes. And uh, then we'll leave them on here for a couple of months and uh, we'll harvest and we'll see what happens as far as honey production goes. But I've always heard uh, a lot of people say, these queen excluders, a lot say don't. I've also heard them called honey excluders. I haven't used them a whole lot. Um, in my experience, but I want to give a shout out here with these bees are really good. Uh, so we'll see if there is a difference. All right, I'm going to get set up and we're going to go here. Okay, so I haven't cracked these hives open yet, but I'm about to. My plan is already to use a queen excluder on the end there. No queen excluder there. A queen excluder. No queen excluder. The next hive over is a brand new hive this year. I'm just going to put a couple boxes on it without a queen excluder. The one on the end is probably not ready for any extra boxes yet. It's been a little weaker, but it's starting to build back up. So that's our plan. We're going to see how this goes. So let me break into this hive here. This hive, a week ago, it was extremely busy, very full of bees. Let's see what we got here. These are going to be pretty tall when I'm done, but I'm tell telling you, these, these Four hives right here are very nice hives of bees. Okay, so so we got them up in this top box here. Um, I probably will not harvest any honey from these top from these uh, boxes below. On this, in this case, the queen excluder because I did treat with oxalic acid. I don't know if you can tell, but they're already putting some nectar and honey in this box. So, looks like we're ready to add some boxes on here. There are lots of bees in here. Um, they've pretty much got this thing packed out, full of bees all the way up and down. At least they did last week when I checked. Also, we're going to put the queen excluder on here, like I said. We're going to put a box of foundation. This is a box that has some, some wax foundation in the center, the middle five frames. Then on top of that, I'm going to put, oh man, it's kind of hard to do this. There we go. A box of drawn comb. A second box of drawn comb here. Get up here on the hill a little bit where I can see it easier. Probably gonna take them a little while to work up into these boxes. They're still a little early in the season, but this season it seems to be earlier than most seasons have been that I've had bees. Everything's happening sooner. Anyway, that's the first one. So we got one, two, three, four boxes underneath, two deeps, two mediums, 
Um, the bees are all the way pretty much full in the bottom four boxes. And then on top of that we have, this is a box of uh, foundation, two boxes of drawing comb. I'm going to put a lid on here. Okay, that one's ready to go. Let's come over here, we're going to open this one up. Got to smoke these bees. Now these bees, these next two hives over, are very feisty. Especially that next one, that third, that one over there, in the middle of the screen right there. Those are some crazy bees. They have been ever since they've been there, but they are good producers, so I let them be mean. They're kind of away from everything, not close to people, so let's see what we got here. Look at that, all the way up. Now this hive actually has, like the other one, it has four boxes and those had overwintered in. We've got, except we have a deep and then three mediums on top of that. Let's just see what these bees are doing. Come around back here. Let's pull one of these just random frames kind of out of the middle. I don't know how good a quality video this is going to be, but. And I am definitely suited up. I've been, the bees have been kind of feisty lately, and I've been stung in the face a few times this week. So I'm not going to risk getting stung in the face anymore, anyway, hopefully. Okay, these bees are already putting honey in here. Look at that. Already have some capped honey, so. This is gonna be the hive that has no queen excluder. We'll stack them on here. The box of foundation. And then, you must smoke them, I'll smoke them a little bit. Stack a box of foundation on there, and then two boxes of drawing comb. It's kinda of hard to do all this one-handed, but. So let me show y'all what I'm doing here. Now the boxes of foundation each have 10 in there because the bees tend to draw it out better initially with 10 frames and then once it's drawn out you can do nine frames in a hive and it'll actually maximize honey production a little better that way. So we got the box of foundation. <clears throat> box of drawing comb. Trying to make sure I give him plenty of room. Okay, nine frames in there. And the second box on top. Again, these are some hives I managed for a friend um, who kind of, he reimburses me some and I manage them for him and harvest and stuff for him and it works out well. So, and they've been some of the better hives I've ever managed. So no bees up in there yet, but they'll come up in there. Hopefully when I open it up in a few weeks, they'll be in the lid. All right. So now we have one of each type. We have one with the with queen excluder over there. Another queen excluder here. I'm gonna do a similar thing with these two boxes. Um, this is the hive right here is the one that is absolutely aggressive. So I'll go ahead and videotape this one. And it's smoking really good. They get, this is a very aggressive bean hive. The bees were chasing me when I first got out of the truck. That's why I had to get the suit on pretty quickly. They're just, look at them. They are just, they're going to come after me. Look at them already coming after me. They're very aggressive, but they are very good honey producers, so I live with it. These bees, like I said, are away from people. Quite a ways away from the house where my friend lives and with his family. And they've already got some white whites going in there. They're already putting some honey in here. Yep, look at that. This frame is full of nectar with a little bit of capped honey. Not sure if some of that was overwintered or not. I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna put the queen excluder on. Smoke did wonders. They're coming after me a little bit, but kind of kept them calmed down some. They're not as aggressive as they would have been otherwise, of course. All right, so we're gonna put this on there. That's our box of foundation. This is all pure plastic foundation with the wax coating. Seems like the bees really, as long as there's a good wax coating, they seem to do fine with either kind of foundation. 
it doesn't matter. And I like to use foundation because I use an extractor. I don't want to blow the comb out of it and the plastic won't blow period. And the, so I typically I prefer actually plastic foundation over the other because it just seems a little tougher or a lot tougher actually. Okay, I'm gonna put this on there. So we got one box of foundation, one box of drawing comb. Might as well videotape this last one. This hive is a new hive that I created last year. The hive that had been here had died out. And they've done really good, as you can see. Look at all those bees. It's amazing. I love it. Bees are cool. Absolutely. Now there's some. They got some brood all the way up in the top box on this one. So the reason I wanted to do this little test with more than just one hive of each kind is because I found it so hard to be consistent with bees. Out here I've got close, the closest thing to consistency as I do anywhere, but they just seem to, each hive is just like its own personality. It does its own thing. Anyway, so we'll put that box on there. Put this box on. And uh, it's going to, they're going to grow into it. There's quite a bit of brood in these hives. They'll grow into it fairly quickly. I probably won't harvest for about three months. Usually I harvest in May, unless this year seems earlier than usual, unless they just have a super early spring with uh, putting honey in the hives. All right, so there we go. All right, we're done with that. Okay, the first one has a queen excluder, four boxes underneath and a box of foundation, two boxes of drawing comb on top. Second one, uh, no queen excluder on top of the first four boxes. Uh, foundation, two boxes of drawing comb. This box, this beehive is a little bit shorter. Uh, it's got a deep and then two mediums on top of that that are wintered in. Then it's got a queen excluder, a box of foundation, and uh, then a box of drawing comb on top. This one is a double deep with a box of uh, drawing comb they've overwintered in. So this is a total of three boxes as well, overwintered in the top two boxes, one foundation, one drawing comb. I'm gonna put a couple of boxes of uh, drawing comb on this new, new hive I put out here this year. And then the top box I'm probably just gonna leave alone for now. All right guys, that's what I did. And we'll see how it turns out. Just finished up, got them stacked up. Uh, Hopefully the bees are going up to those queen excluders. It'll be interesting to see how this challenge goes. We'll check back in a few weeks, uh, see what happens, and probably harvest in about two or three months, uh, depending on how the honey flow is this year. So it'll be interesting. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you want to see future videos from me, I tap on the bell. And so now we're about to head off to our next bee adventure. Uh, thanks for watching Bruce's Bees. Hope you have a good day, and I appreciate you. Over and out.